All right, everybody, this is going to be your first sketchbook assignment for um, our first project. Um, it shouldn't take you crazy amount of time, but it will take the amount of time, I think, if you were in class, we would be working on this about the same amount of time, okay? So there's four techniques that you're going to use in order to try and capture your hand, okay? So... I think I mentioned this in maybe our first meeting together, but I have a pro I had a professor named Linda Bond. Um, she was my human figure anatomy teacher at Mass Art, and um, she said that if you want to get better at drawing really really fast, draw uh, your hand or hands every day. Okay, um, you're gonna use four different techniques and two of them are very traditional so one is called continuous contour and the other one's called blind contour I'm just writing the words continuous and blind contour is a fancy word for line okay essentially it means the outline of something so the contour of my hand okay or the contour of a cup or this uh, sketchbook okay just think outline so continuous contour is the first technique, blind contour is the second technique. This is more effective and you're going to, over time, this will be ingrained in your head in combination with this, okay? So I'm a righty, dominantly. Um, I can draw with my left hand, but it's not ideal. Um, so... Hopefully you guys can see me do this, but I'm going to keep my left hand here, okay? And I know it says five by two minutes. We'll get to that a little bit later. But for the sake of this demo so that I don't go over time, I'm trying to keep it five to six minutes for you guys. I'm going to do this um, fairly quickly. So the rules for continuous are that you can look at what you're drawing, but you cannot lift your drawing tool. The reason that you want to do this is because we want to start to capture proportion, form, and shape as accurately as possible. These two techniques help with that better than anything else I know, okay? There's really no secret other than these two techniques, okay? There's no magical way. Even if people that pick up drawing really fast, they're doing these two things inherently, even if they don't know the terms. So... I'm going to start drawing my hand with continuous contour. Now the key is to make sure that your hand and your eye are syncing together as one and you're not concerned about shadows or little details yet, okay? Just shape and form and the proportions and the contour, meaning the outline. So as you're drawing around, you're kind of breaking things up in the hand and actually your hand is doing this for you because you have to just look at the lines, the knuckles, all the details that are basically road signs for you to let you know, hey, why don't you draw this section, okay? Oops, I left it a little bit, sorry. Um, it's, uh, drawing should be done in chunks and not this, uh, you shouldn't feel overwhelmed by trying to capture uh, this hand, okay? In other words, you want to not think of it as a hand, as weird as that sounds, okay? Um, and when you're doing this technique, you can go back and forth, up and down on marks you've already made, which actually helps the process. Um, I'm also, I'm not drawing shadows, but I am outlining them. Because if I was doing a full-fledged drawing later, that would actually be very helpful for me to pinpoint and map. All right, that's good enough. Okay. So, yeah. Fairly quick. Um, I'd say that maybe was actually about two minutes. Okay. Um... We're at the 4 minute, 45 second mark. Um, so blind, okay. We'll skip these two for now. Uh, blind is essentially the same thing, but I am not looking at my...
drawing. Okay, now I know you can't see my face, so you'll have to take my word for it, but you will see very quickly how different this is going to look, and the finished result will actually show you how I'm not really looking at my hand. In fact, these first few blind contour drawings that you're going to do should not look pretty. Um, the pace is also different. I'm moving a little bit faster. And if I decide to take off my hand, then uh, I will lose my place because my hand is actually my set of eyes right now on the page. See what I mean? Now, this doesn't look as nice as this, but believe it or not, like these fingers right here, that is a little more accurate than this. So this is why I say this is uh, gold as far as technique, okay? So let's uh, skip this for now. We'll talk about this maybe next time. Do five of these for two minutes. Time yourself on a phone or a watch. And then do five blind contour drawings for two minutes. You can do the same pose each time. That way you're not, you know, adding another challenge into it. Keep the same pose and see how well or if you stay the same or if you're, you know, if it's getting better or not better, okay? Um, and then uh, submit uh, your drawings to the assignment. All right, later.